Hello, hello, my name is Marsha Nuts, and before we get into the video, I want to give a quick disclaimer. This video is not a tutorial. This video is just me making a bracelet, and then I've sped it up real fast so you can watch the whole thing from beginning to end without it being like five hours long. <laughs> and this is just a video in which I make a bracelet and chat with you guys about whatever I feel like talking about. Um, and I've started adding these disclaimers at the beginning of all my Not With Me videos because people leave angry comments saying that they can't understand anything because it's going too fast. It's not meant to be a tutorial. Uh, if you are looking for tutorials though, I have plenty of those, starting from beginner ones, going to more advanced. I'll leave a bunch of playlists for that in the description so you can check that out if you want to. All right, that being said, let's actually uh, just get into the video and start chatting. So this bracelet, I actually used this bracelet for three separate videos, including this one. Um, I did a video about two weeks ago in which I, um, go into what special strings exist, what special strings are, and by special strings I mean like multicolored strings, sparkly strings, metallic strings, that kind of thing. And I used this bracelet to uh, sort of show that even if you don't have multicolored strings, but you want to imitate the effect of that, you can do that by using single strings of different colors like I am using here within one design, which was originally supposed to be, this This was all supposed to be a single color. In the pattern, all of the strings that are in the middle, like within the borders of the, I don't know, Celtic sort of thing, um, was supposed to be one color, but I, I chose different colors for that and sort of that kind of replicates a multicolored effect. Obviously the colors that I chose here are very vibrant and um, bright, but you can also sort of, if you want to imitate more of a color variated thread that goes from like one shade of the color to like another shade of the same color, you can also do that. You can choose like a bunch of different shades of pink or a bunch of different shades of blue or whatever color you're going for and sort of do the same thing as well. I think that would also look uh, really beautiful. Uh, and I love how this turned out, by the way. This was my first time trying that. This was also um, a bracelet in which I did a loop and I did a loop and I did triangle ends, but then you only need one string per color for some of them. And that is difficult to do with a loop. So I basically ended up um, cutting off the little ends of that string as soon as I did the loop. If you want a more detailed account of that and actually see what I'm doing, it is within that same video, which will be linked uh, in the description. Uh, but yeah, you can do that. <laughs> so uh, you can do that. And I, this is the first time I think I was trying that. If I recall, I might have actually tried that before now that I'm thinking about it. But um, yeah, this is one of the first times I ever tried that and that was fun. And I think it turned out really well. And uh, I really do love this pattern. I think it's a really cool pattern. I really enjoy patterns like this. And I think uh, the multicolored strings looked very beautiful in it as well. But yeah, I... Um, I'm trying to make more bracelets. I'm really trying. Uh, if you haven't been keeping up with me, um, you might not know that I started a full-time job relatively recently. It's been like three, four months at this point. It's, it's been it's been some time. Some time has passed, so it's not like super recent. Uh, and I feel like I have gotten into more of a routine finally and actually figured out when uh, I can allocate time for my YouTube channel, when I can allocate time for like other things that I'm working on. Um, so I'm, I've, I've sort of gotten the hang, I think, of what I'm doing. <laughs> but because of that, I've, I've been making less bracelets recently because it's really difficult for me to find time nowadays between like all the travel that I'm doing. It takes me about an hour to actually get to work um, and then an, an hour back. So I lose two hours to travel and then obviously I'm working for like eight and a half hours uh, of the day. Um, so yeah, it, it's been a struggle for me to find time to actually make bracelets, which is kind of unfortunate. Although nowadays we are working half and half, so I'm half of the time I'm in the office, half of the time I'm at home, which has helped because my lunch breaks are at home. Uh, and that means that if I ate really quickly, my lunch breaks like an hour. If I uh, had my lunch pretty quickly, I have some free time. I can then turn on something on YouTube and just like make a bracelet for the rest of like uh, my lunch break. So that's been, <laughs> that's been pretty fun. And I've been using my lunch breaks for that whenever I am working from home. Anyway, my point is I've been trying to make more bracelets. I think I've been struggling with it recently. Uh, in my last wrap up, I only had four bracelets um, and I'm determined to have more this time around in this wrap up. Um, to be fair, I probably will still have very close to four. So far, I'm working on a fifth right now. It's uh, as I'm recording this. Well, I'm probably gonna post this on the same day, actually. It's uh, the 21st of August. And I currently have four bracelets finished and I'm working on a fifth one. But to, uh, to my credit, the bracelets that I've made this month are 
either big, like this one, this one is a pretty, pretty large bracelet. Uh, so they're either big or they are kind of complicated with uh, like twists and turns in the design. So it just takes longer to make. So I have actually been knotting a lot this month. I just haven't really produced many, uh, many bracelets out of that. But I'm still very happy with myself um, because it's not really about the quantity, is it? It's more about like the fact that I actually had time this month um, to properly allocate to my favorite hobby. And I actually did do it <laughs> as much as I wanted to. Well, to be fair, I probably would have enjoyed it if I did it a little bit more as well, but still, I'm very happy with myself for the month of August. I'm finally, I actually posted my videos on time. I actually uh, got everything done. Um, so yeah, I think I'm finally figuring out what my new routine is like because the first couple of months of my job were a bit hectic. The first month obviously is just uh, very hectic in general because I'm still getting the hang of what I'm even doing both at work and out of work like with the new routine and schedule and then uh, a month and a half into me working there I went on vacation because uh, I hadn't seen my family for like six months at that point, actually seven I think. Um, and then when I came back from vacation, I, it's obviously very crazy because I had to like um, catch up on what I missed and it was just a bit of a crazy whirlwind and I still am kind of like, I think I'm finally settled now. That's what I'm trying to say, I'm finally in a place where I'm settled. Um, but yeah, uh, when I was in Russia, actually, I did a, I did bring back a lot of strings because Russia is usually the place where I buy my strings and I brought back a ton of like different multicolored strings because I was running low on multicolored strings, that, which was crazy to me because I, I used to have so many, but I use multicolored strings a lot, so it kind of makes sense. Anyway, I brought back a lot of multicolored strings, a lot of like new different sparkly strings to try, uh, and I brought back strings that I haven't tried before in terms of like brand. Uh, and a bunch of yarns as well that I've seen other Russian knotters use, but I've never used myself. So um, if you want to see that, by the way, I did do a whole video, which I'll, I'll leave that link in the card and in the description for you. Um, I did a whole video in which I showed everything that I bought while I was in Russia. And I've basically been uh, trying to use those strings this month. Um, and I have been, well, you'll see it in my wrap up video, which I'm posting next week. Um, but yeah, I, I've been using a bunch of these like multicolored and sparkly strings and I've been really enjoying myself. I think they are uh, really cool. But yeah, uh, other than that, what, what else is going on with my life? I kind of use these uh, Not With Me videos as mini life updates. I uh, Whenever I make these videos, I always imagine you guys sort of uh, watching this and nutting along with me, kind of like uh, my live streams. Uh, which is also like how I imagine the process going, like whenever I'm streaming, I, uh, which I actually, I did a live stream recently. I haven't, uh, I keep skipping from topic to topic, but I haven't been live streaming ever since I uh, got this new job because it's been so crazy, but I did do a live stream recently. I'll leave the uh, video for that uh, linked in the description as well. It's on my Masha Streams channel. I always re-upload my live streams there. Uh, but yeah, hopefully I do actually host more. I, obviously I can't do weekly ones like I used to do because it's been, pretty crazy, but um, I'm hoping to still do them occasionally, more frequently than I did. <laughs> I don't want to have as long of a break between live streams as I just had, uh, is what I'm trying to say. But yeah, I, when I'm doing my live streams, I also just like imagine that like, oh, I'm making a bracelet and you guys are making them with me. And whenever I film uh, or even record the voiceovers like I'm doing now for these uh, videos of Not With Me's, I like to imagine that uh, you guys are making a bracelet with me as well. And I think that that's, I don't know, I just really like that. I think that's so cool. I'm so glad I found like a community of people who like, um, share my interests. But yeah, um, what else kind of things can I say about my life? Um, oh, I reorganized my bookshelf yesterday, which uh, some of you might have seen on my Instagram story, which uh, you should follow me on Instagram, by the way, if you don't already. I like to connect with you guys there. Um, but yeah, I reorganized my bookshelf. Basically, I've been I've been slowly getting back into reading as uh, a hobby because I used to read a lot as a child and then sort of during my during my teenage years, I, um, for whatever reason, kind of stopped. Um, and I've been sort of dabbling back into it now, but I'm, I'm really struggling to figure out what kind of books I even enjoy reading, because as a teenager, I obviously like read mostly young adult, and now I don't want to do that because I'm an adult now. I can't really relate that much to young adult books. They're all about like coming of age kind of stuff, and I feel like I just want to read more 
just anything different, anything else, honestly. Like, they're good, but they're just not for me anymore, you know what I mean? Uh, so I've been really struggling with that, trying to figure out what kind of genres I like, and I'm trying to dabble in, like, all sorts of different genres, like, reading a couple of books from each of them to sort of figure out what I like, even. Um, and so because of that, I've been uh, buying a lot of books as well, because I, oh, I really want, like, a large book collection at some point in my life. I, oh, I just, I really want to have a lot of books. <laughs> <laughs> that's, yeah, I don't know, that's kind of stupid, but like I really, really want like a book, a uh, big bookshelf with like a bunch of books in it. Anyway, I started, uh, I started reading fantasy, I started uh, trying out fantasy, I read the Mistborn trilogy by Brandon Sanderson, and uh, I was so captivated by it. I don't know, um, I haven't felt this way about a book or a book series or anything. I haven't felt this way about reading since I read Harry Potter as a child like that. When I read Harry Potter as a kid, it gripped me and it didn't let me go until I finished it. And then even nowadays, I still like think about it a lot. Um, and I'm like really into it, <laughs> but I haven't felt this way about a book or a book series since that. And uh, it really gripped me. It's such a good series. Um, if you're interested in fantasy, I really do recommend uh, picking up the Mistborn trilogy by Brandon Sanderson. It's such a fun read and so many twists and turns and ah, uh, I, I just, I love it. I really had fun with it. And anyway, I've been buying a lot of books. So I like reorganized my bookshelf, which uh, you will see in um, future videos actually, cause it's like my background. Anyway, we're coming to the end of this, uh, coming to the end of this video here. The bracelet turned out beautifully. I really enjoy how it looks. I think it is gorgeous. Um, so yeah, if you wanna watch the video explaining uh, all the special strings and stuff and how I did the start, that will be linked in the description as well. All right, and I also wanted to mention this new thing that I'm starting with my patrons. We have a Patreon Discord server and I'm going to be doing monthly not-alongs. In fact, we just finished the first not-along for the month of August and I'm going to be announcing the September one on September 1st. The not-alongs are for mystery bracelets. I release a part of the pattern every week and you guys not that part of the pattern without knowing what the full pattern is going to look like and then only at the end when I release the full pattern do you actually see what you've been making this entire time. We just did the one for August, that one was really fun. I enjoyed the participation so much on that uh, and I'm gonna be doing one for September as well on September 1st will be the first part of the next pattern so if you want to participate in that then feel free to become a patron the link for that is in the description of course you don't have to this is completely voluntary and I will still be running the monthly challenges for everyone during my wrap-up videos which will be announced in the next wrap-up so there you go this is just an extra thing that you can do if you want to but in any case thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed today's video. Before I go, I want to give a special shout out to my patrons and especially my top supporters whose names are going to appear on screen. Thank you so much for your support. I truly, truly appreciate it. If you also want to become a patron, there is a link in the description for you to sign up and get exclusive perks. But in any case, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video and I will see you in my next one. Bye!